Hello, this is uh, my PlayStation 3 shaped uh, Raspberry Pi case. Uh, I made this from a gift card tin that was just, that's available at GameStop. Uh, this is the finished product. You can see here the uh, SD card slot. This is for the USB port, the micro USB that powers the Raspberry Pi and then on this side we have the USB ports and then we have the uh, Ethernet port. I'm going to open it up so I can show you the steps that I took to, to come up with this. As you can see the fit's pretty snug. So the way it's held in place is by this screw right here and another screw that's supposed to go in here. I've removed that one already. I'm just going to remove this other one here. Now because of the snug fit right here, I'm going to have to wiggle this a little bit to get, get it to come out. So, so here's the Raspberry Pi. Let's take a look underneath it. Here you'll see these two little spacers that I've, that I've tacked uh, on with hot glue right here and right here. Uh, that's just to help position them when we're putting this thing together. At least that way they're not, they don't fall out of place. And here's one of the little screws I used to, to put it together. I had to add this little spacer because the screws were too long. And if I, had, if I did not have that spacer in there, what would end up happening is that the, the bottom of the base, you can see a small indentation right there. The bottom of the base would have been punctured right there and right about there. Uh, so that's why we've I've got those two little spacers and here inside you can see the holes where they go So first step in making this is Marking out or well, I guess figuring out the layout now You don't want to go too far back that might seem like a good idea But it's not such a good idea because of the fact that you'll end up cutting into this corner right here And you don't want to do that because that'll weaken the structure of the little box so what you want to do is pull back away from the from the back of the unit more towards uh, the center of it. Now the other thing that you want to consider when you're trying to figure out where you're going to position this is the SD card slot. Now if you go all the way forward on this side, on the USB port side, and try to make it flush, uh, you end up having a little bit less uh, surface area to pull the SD card out from. So if that's going to be a concern for you, then you probably don't want to do that either. That's the reason why I opted for a uh, flush fit. Have the outer surface of the USB port flush with the outer surface of the case. So the first thing you want to do is lay out, well, you want to add some masking tape uh, to the surface and then you want to mark where you're going to have your USB port slot. This is the first one that you're going to cut. Uh, the reason for that is that that one will end up, if you make it snug enough, you'll end up positioning this in such a way that then you can, you can use that to help you align the other positions in, in, for the different ports. So, so you lay it out. I, you can cut it with a Dremel tool. I used uh, cable cutters. Uh, the, the drawback of using the cable cutters is that they create little flares that then you're going to have to file down. I can do a close-up here. You can, you can see here the, uh, the shiny parts there and right about here. I had to, I had to, uh, I had to trim this down with the Dremel tool because they were pointing up and it kept the, the base from, from, or the top of it from sitting flush with the base. Uh, so you take your snips, you can cut there and there, and then you just fold over the material that remains. This this frame that goes around the uh, the case will will try to fall off in some locations, such as this piece right here that's just kind of uh, 
holding itself right now. That's because I added some uh, hot glue in there. You can see a little bit of hot glue right here. Same deal goes for this corner right here. This this also has a hot glue in it. I added some electrical tape here on the inside. This helps uh, insulate in case if the lower parts of the circuit board were to touch the case. Uh, here's the rear slot for the HDMI port. Uh, you can see it's the same process. You mark on one side, mark on the other side, and then fold it over. Then the last, or well, second to the last item is the micro USB uh, opening. In this case, I ended up sparing the top part of the trim, so actually I removed this. I, I cut on this side, then I removed it, cut a notch, and then taped it back together with just a little bit of electrical tape. And then I would say that this is the most difficult part to do is the is slot for the SD card. The way I did it on this on this case was uh, drilled a hole right here, drilled another hole here, then I cut through the middle with a Dremel and then enlarged the hole. Uh, in retrospect, I probably would have done two cuts with the Dremel, one here on the top and then one here on the bottom. But uh, the, the difficult part about this is not just the cutting, but also the fact that you have to be very careful about how you align it. You, there's, there's no easy way to, to project the where, where the SD card slot is on the Raspberry Pi one since in there, so you have to eyeball it and you have to be real careful about it. I also used masking tape on this side and then I laid it out uh, over that so that it was easier to see and to protect the paint from getting scratched. There's the bottom part. Now on the top part you would also have to cut out some notches to get them to align. Um, get the camera in focus here. So this is for the USB port, this is for the uh, Ethernet cable, and then this one right here is for the HDMI cable. This side was spared from having to do any cuts, so this side is, is, is a pristine. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about these uh, little spacers little spacers right here. And you'll notice that the bottom of the case is curved so you don't have a flat surface for them to sit up against so you're gonna have to look at where these are located, where the holes are located and you're gonna have to try to mimic that curvature on your little spacers and as you can see on this one if we look at it from the side you can kinda see that it's not the cuts not perpendicular it's, it's actually kinda kind of at an angle there Try to this. This you have to do with sandpaper. Uh, same deal for this one. You'll notice that there's a slight angle to it, and that's just so that it matches. Let me see if I, from this angle I can get a better, better view. You can see that it's it's an angle. It's not flush. Or it's not perpendicular to say. So there you have it. That's uh. It's basically all there is to it. The drawback, of course, of of having this. Uh, we're using this case is that you won't be able to access the uh, composite the video uh, the composite video connection very easily because of the front of the vase but if you really wanted to use it you can just uh, solder two wires here and run it through the back which is the way you should should be anyways for, for an XBMC setup um, and then of course the uh, audio port that one you might be able to get away with an angled uh, connector for like headphones or something if you really wanted to use that and then run it through the back as well. Uh, so that's kind of how it goes. I'll put it back together again uh, so that you can see how, how that takes place. Take out the SD card. As you can see this fit is very snug and that's the key because if that is snug then you can take this on and put it back but, but the uh, relative position of all the other openings will stay the same and so you won't have uh, uh, you know misaligned cutouts in relation to your uh, connectors. This one might seem oversized but actually you do need this additional clearance over here because Ethernet cables have that little lever, that little locking lever and that actually sticks out further beyond the bottom of the circuit board. That's why this one's actually 
going further down than say the USB connector hole so that's actually necessary so there we have it we'll add the screw it's a little spacer we'll get the SD card in place so there should go another screw should go there but I don't have it at the moment and then we'll put the case the top of the, of the case. You might notice there's some dings here on the top surface. That's how this case came from uh, when I bought it at the GameStop. It was it was like the last one they had, and the box was a little beaten up. But still, overall, when it's finished, uh, I'd say it looks pretty nice. You're able to hook up all your cables with nice clearances, and uh, there you have it the uh, PlayStation 3 Raspberry Pi case. Thanks for watching.